Hey guys, I'm Nico. I'm gonna show you guys a very simple game that yeah, you can do at home, which requires nothing but just a few cents. So as you can see, I have um, I have a dollar in quarters. That's four quarters. I have five nickels. I have uh, five dimes, five pennies, and I have this one dollar bill coin. So the game has to do with those individuals that, that have suffered a traumatic brain injury. I chose this because um, it is the leading cause of death and disability in children and young adults in the U.S. It is, um, it is caused by an impact onto the skull. So basically, if you if you've play contact sports like in football, you get hit in the head, you can go into a concussion, it can be a mild concussion, it can be severe. Um, also in car accidents, it's very common for you to hit the windshield or hit the steering wheel. That can cause also cause a brain injury or even um, a whiplash. If you have, for example, if those that are getting into a really bad car accident and then they, um, the seatbelt stops them from going forward, the whiplash causes the brain to hit to smash into the inside of the skull which can cause a brain injury. So basically this game is more inclined to the younger population since they're the ones that are affected the most. Um, basically if I'm playing, let's say I'm playing Playhouse with my, with my sister, right? And she tells me that this little piece of candy is worth, let's say 10 cents, right? So I'm able, I have to be able to distinguish which of this point will give me 10 cents simple math but it involves a lot of concentration and then let's say I pick two two nickels that's 10 cents right I give it to my sister she gives me a candy right then again let's say she gives me another piece of candy and this one is worth uh, 15 cents so and she tells me give me two coins right I only want two coins I don't want three just two coins right if it's 15 cents they have to think they have to process in their brain that a dime is worth 10 cents, right? And then she only wants two coins, so I'm able to get a pick up a nickel, right? It's two coins worth 15 cents, I'm able to get the candy, right? So to make this game more challenging, I can use a dollar bill, five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, twenty dollar bills, and also instead of being the buyer, I can be the cashier and um, let's say my sister, if I'm playing with my sister, right, and then she gives me, uh, this costs $5 and she gives me $4.20, right? I have to process in my mind, I have to do the math, I have to concentrate, and then I would have to think that I'm supposed to give her 80 cents back. So things like this are going to help the, whether it's the teenager, the young adult, or an adult person go to a simple store and make purchases on their own. So this is going to make them a little more independent, even all depending on how severe the injury is on the person. Like I said, this is mostly inclined to the younger population. I've worked with kids for three years at an elementary school and for an aftercare program. And this is this was I had, we had a game that was with a bunch of, of toys and, and fake money, and they would do their own stories in the cafeteria and it was something that they they really enjoyed so i think this is a very good game which um, increases independence and as well improves their uh, ability to concentrate so um yeah this this is it